Do you drive? If so, you'll know that filling up a car is astronomical at the moment. You practically have to remortgage your house. In fact, this summer, the average car costs more than £100 to fill up. The thing that drives me insane, however, is moments later driving past a rival petrol station selling fuel cheaper. Now, I wonder if there's an app out there that promises to stop that frustration and save me money. Well, funny you should say that, there is, and it's called petrol prices. It's pretty simple, really. It works using your location and then lists all the nearby petrol stations and the prices that they are charging. So, I gave it a road test, boom, boom, uh, when I went on a trip with my daughter a couple of weeks ago. So, according to the petrol prices app, Tesco is selling unleaded petrol three pence cheaper than just across the road. Um, and I've got a big car, so I'll make quite a big difference. So, here it goes. Thank you, Petrol Prices app. First off, I thought it was pretty accurate. I have seen some reviews on Trustpilot that suggest that some of the prices are out of date. Now, Petrol Prices uses an analytics company called Catalyst, and they input all the data, but you're encouraged, as a user of the app, to confirm whether the petrol prices are correct, and if they're not, input a more up-to-date price. The day I used it, all the prices seemed to tally between the boards on the road and the app itself. I've just filled up 54 litres worth of petrol, and the difference between here and a petrol station just a few hundred yards away was three pence a litre. Doesn't sound very much at all, but that's £1.63's worth of savings, banked. There are two niggles, however. First off, not every single petrol station in the country is on the app. Most are, but not all. So you could potentially be missing out on a bargain. The second is the sat-nav feature. Once you've found a petrol station you want to go to, you have the option in the app to go to station. And then it flips over to the sat-nav on your phone. But once you're in the sat-nav, you're obviously missing out on all the potential petrol stations nearby that might be offering fuel at a decent price. So if you want to check on those, you've got to flip back into the app. And if you're in a car, you need to do that safely. For me, that was a bit of a faff, but not a huge deal. Will I be keeping the app on my phone? Definitely. I thought it was very useful, particularly if you're doing a long trip. There are certain parts of the country where there's a huge discrepancy in the price of fuel. Last time I looked in, say, North Cumbria, 13 pence difference in a litre of unleaded petrol. That equates to a £7 saving when filling up. For me, though, the best thing about the road trip was at the petrol station, not only was it cheaper petrol, but my daughter and I got discounted cream eggs, 25 pence each. That is a win.